Hello and welcome back to Everspace 2. Ladies and gentlemen, thank you so much for joining me and thank you very much for watching the last episode. If you did join me on the last episode, that is. If you're joining me for the first time here, welcome to Everspace 2. I've progressed a little bit. I have a couple of episodes before this one. If you want to go back and watch them, you are very welcome to do so and I do hope you enjoy them as well. Anyway, we're going to press on today. Now, there was a lot of really great comments in the last video. Um, some of you are actually getting a little bit angry and I apologise. <laughs> <laughs> watching me play can be frustrating at times it would seem um especially for some of you now uh there's a lot of information in this game and then admittedly the last two episodes I was very much just focused on the general experience of the game and not any of the detail <laughs> none of it not at all no detail whatsoever so um yeah we're gonna have a little look at some detail today because uh we've got things like all the ship stats over here and things like the inventory and stuff but basically i've disassembled most of the stuff that i looted from the last episode okay because um ultimately it gives us uh, crafting material over here now all the stuff that i disassembled was like level tier zero level zero rubbish uh, and all the stuff that I disassembled, the only stuff I can think that I can build is a common Gauss cannon, okay? I still need blueprint parts for the flax, auto cannons, blasters, railguns, and pulse lasers, plus, you know, whatever the last four or five weapons uh, types there are in the game. We need blueprint parts for all of them in order to be able to craft them. So let's select the Gauss cannon, for example. If we want to, like, create a better tier of that, um, then we... I don't know what we need. I need we need more blueprint progress it would appear that having the common blueprint is not good enough i think we then need to disassemble three uh uncommon gauss cannons and then three rare gauss cannons for example and then three superior gauss cannons for example in order to get those blueprint parts unless we can loop whole blueprint parts somewhere in the game uh which we'll find out i guess either way so we've got these parts and things like that so we can actually possibly um modify eventually um some of our, our existing stuff we can increase its level increase its rarity uh remove level restrictions if it has one and install catalysts if we had any so there is that and we can craft even catalysts as well so these are these things here uh so we've got some common catalysts again we're a little short on resources here so uh yeah these are all the sort of things that we can do to our weapon systems and we are going to explore these but remember i'm so early in the game right now that i have next to nothing here uh okay so we need to just sort of sit back and relax a bit more with this stuff and just go into a bit more of the gameplay more looting more exploration and things like that now i've been focusing mostly on just the main storyline just because that's the sort of guided part of the game but as you can see on the map here we've got undiscovered sites um undiscovered sites here and this is our side mission the undead ship that we're going to do first of all today what i'm hoping to do is go over to the undiscovered ship then go to this undiscovered site then do the main story mission come back and possibly do this undiscovered site on the way back but we're going to go uh, a little bit more off the beaten track today um and hopefully you know improve some stuff there now dax has some upgrades here that we can actually do so um we can improve our repairs a little bit for example which is a only uh 70 percent so it's reducing our amount we pay uh we can increase the crew uh decrease the cooldown for the cruise drive i don't know why that's so hard to say or we can increase our tractor beam oh hello i didn't want to do that wait increase the uh, tractor beam or allow you to pull multiple objects at once which could be just it's, it's all kind of little conveniences here and there isn't it um so i think obviously the most value is probably repairs because ultimately that costs us an actual thing where the other the other two are just waiting or inconveniences so i am going to increase i'm going to invest uh stuff into um the repairs thing here and what you do is you actually select the things that you want to invest so at the moment the cooling unit is the only thing that's complete we have to invest bits into there we go uh each component here i don't want to invest too much money that'll do for now and as we invest things, then we slowly get them complete and they slowly get upgraded and so on and so forth. So that's what we're going to do. Um, then these little plus things are just indications that you can still add stuff or contribute, invest stuff into these things. So uh, there we go. Okay. 
Let's go back to the hangar. I have done a little painting, as you can see. We've got this uh, slightly sharper color scheme now. The red has changed. We've got some skulls and stuff like that. As you more color schemes and stuff, we will unlock as we progress in the game. But now, it's a very limited choice. Let's head out into space here. And what we're going to do, like I said, is we're going to head to our the undead ship mission. Um, I really should probably spend a little bit of time just exploring our local asteroid field here. We went around it a little bit, but not a huge amount. So I'm going to do that probably off camera, though, because I don't want to spend too much time in an episode just pottering around, not doing anything. Okay. Um, we should probably get to the other side of that asteroid before we try and walk through it, right? There we go, then. I see some minerals off to the right, but we'll get them later. Undiscovered site, then. Let's go and look at the undead ship. All right, we got some bad guys here. This is a mess, isn't it? This is bad. All right. R two's on it. <laughs> oh boy, they're yep. Shields are at fifty percent already. Whoa, boy. Got him. Okay, no damage taken, thankfully. A couple of bits and bobs. Pick up. There we go. That was all oh, the rail guns. I didn't even need the auto cannons with that one. The rail guns did it. The zappers, I should say. The zappers. All right, where are we? There's the wreck. We've got a bit of exploring to do here, haven't we? Access this and search the wrecks. Cargo hold is the objective. Uh oh. More bad guys are warping in. Okie dokie. 2.4 kilometers away. They're going to be here any minute now. Get ourselves some cover. They're not actually coming directly at me at the moment. Pick up some minerals. Something here. Oh, now they're coming at me. Oh, boy. Now they're coming. Ooh, hey. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> Multi-kill. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> More minerals. Iron. Lovely. Lovely stuff. Okay, good. Pick this up. I gotta say, it's an absolute pleasure just freaking running around looting, even just iron, you know? <laughs> they do it, but. Uh, we'll try and I'll do my best to basically explore a little bit more off the beaten track, as many of you recommend uh, I do. Uh, some of the, the best stuff is sort of hidden out of the way and is not marked on the HUD. I suppose it would make sense, really. The game gives you a lot for free, you know? Sort of like, you know, it gives you sort of little markers here and there. Just like, oh yeah, there's a little bit of loot over here. There's a little bit of loot if you just... But the best stuff... Oh no, that's hidden. So you've got to kind of like, just fly around. For ages. <laughs> Looking at... Base debris. <laughs> it's not the most interesting content-wise, i got to say. Like, hmm... The problem is as well, at this point in my experience of the game is so limited that I don't actually even know what I'm looking for. So it might even be that I fly through this debris and look directly at Beckin Box and probably fly right by it. Until you know what you're looking for, until you've seen it before, until you've experienced finding some hidden loot, some hidden treasure, uh, it's difficult to know, train my eyes on what to look for so um bear with me guys but i'm gonna look through a little bit more of this debris and if i find anything i'll let you know something is making a lot of noise here 
feel like it's probably inside the ship, right? All right, guys, I've pretty much come full circles now. I've not found anything in the um, the outer debris here. A couple more targets coming in. Um, I mean, that's not to say there's nothing out there. Oh, hello. They're closer than I thought. All right. They're just little harasser units. Nothing to worry about. Yeah, it's not, not to say that there's nothing out there, it's just that I haven't seen anything, right? So we've got to access the ship's cargo hold, so let's have a little look-see. We've probably got a situation where we've got like a power spear or whatever it is, and then something over here. Eventually got that thing. It's a little difficult hitting it there. Whatever they fed the generator, it's still pumping. These generators here. Power core dispenser. All right, we have a power core. With precision throwing. Good of all these ships uh, have have gantry ways that are big enough to fit a uh, ship through, innit? Look at that. We've got a marksman thermo gun. Ooh, that looks good against shields. Cannot be damaged. Um, I will take it. Thank you very much. We've also got an energy core. Lovely. Now we're talking. That, that is that the end of it, is it? Is that all she wrote? No, I can't really fit through the rest of this area. <laughs> it's getting a bit tight now. Need to EVA. <laughs> I don't think there's anything else down here, but... Kick myself if I don't try and have a look. And then find out there was, like, super loot behind the thingy. I don't think there is. Like, it looks fine. All right. Squeeze our big fat buttocks out of here. I, I guess this little ship is useful for this. I tell you, if we had something bigger, then we'd be a little bit trouble. Be like, and oh, <laughs> that's fine. It'll buff out. It's okay. All right. I'm still hearing like mechanics of a door opening and closing and whatnot. Possible that there's another section of the ship that is still together, but I think it's the same stuff, same area, isn't it? Of course, there's this bit that I didn't go into because I thought this bit was the main thing to go into, but this bit looks like a dead end to me. Okay. That is just the end of the actual POI. Never mind. It's all kind of coiled round. It's weird. Sort of like you go round it like that. Like, so twisted. <laughs> I don't know how that is like the remnants of a freighter, but apparently it is. All right. I think we're done here. More banditos coming in.
All right. So we're going to head out to the undiscovered location over here, which is next to our main objective. Let's go. Patient debris. Oh, lots of banditos. But lots of debris to search through. We got some bandits incoming. I've got to be careful because I don't want to take on too many of them at the same time. Uh, 2.3 kilometers and three. So these guys first. Okie dokie. Yeah, it looks like we've got some activity going on in the center there. Looks like more power cores and stuff like that. Thank you, R2. Oh, hello. Nice. Oh, a ship color. <laughs> Eerie black. Okay. <laughs> oh, hello. Coming from the left. Oh boy, things are heating up. Yeah, boys. Good shot. Where I had that missile lock then. Clearly not. Any more of these smegets? Yeah, one more. Lots of bits and bobs to pick up though. Carnage everywhere. All right, we've got, we've got some container over here. This seems to be... I've been detected. Yeah, some sort of like bandit stronghold here, isn't it? Because uh, they've got turrets here and everything. What have we got? What have we got? Credits and ore. This game feeds the inner loot goblin. It really does. Whoa! Hello. It really does. What the hell was that? Is that a mine? Are these mines? Oh, they are mines. Look. I thought they were like landing lights. <laughs> we'll blow them up then. Lovely. And we got incoming. We got incoming, of course. Bam, bam, bam. 1.7 kilometers away. Okay. No problem, eh? Hey. Well, they closed that gap quick, didn't they? Chuck those ones down. Yeah, there's another multi kill. Chuck it up, chuck it up. Count it. Right, let's have a look through these rocks then. See if we can find anything over here. Okay, the rocks are dry. No worries. Let's get in the in the natural guts of this thing. Let's see what we got inside. Power core socket. There's a power core. Looks like I've got company. Busy. This looks shooty. Timed. Okay, good to know. 
Let's deal with these suckers first. Alright. So we've got to shoot that thing and get through that door. Position ourselves over by that door then. Uh, oh, sh Okay, I don't want to get locked in. Here we go then. Let's get in. Get. Transfer all and get out. 100% <laughs> complete location. Station debris. There we go. Nice. Two extra rewards for that. There's some minerals here. So, it gives you a 100% complete. It's not entirely honest. Alrighty, I think we're done here then. Let's... I mean, there's a few more rocks to scan through. See so yeah, if there's anything out here. But other than that, I think we're good. And we just need to head off to our next destination. <laughs> Great flying. Awesome. Planetary obstruction. Adjust course. Hmm. Okay, then. We need to adjust our course around that, do we? What's the best way of doing that? Can we go into space? Or can we just go that way? Apparently we can just literally warp our way into space. Alright, Union Bridge then. This is our main objective. We are visiting the trading outpost here. But this looks like there's more going on than just trade. Let's check out this huge space wreck here. Hello. Looks like it was owned by the Polaris faction. Sensors aren't picking up anything of use here, but uh, that's not to say there's nothing here. Yeah, I picked up an antique uh, container down here. Ah, uh, high capacity web missile. Nice. Sticky, sticky, webby stuff. Looks like a cargo drone. This ship has seen better days, isn't it? It's got other ships lodged into it. What have we got here? Clothing and nanobots. Lovely. Three cargo drones. <laughs> ship color. Yay. <laughs> Viridium. Very nice. We can have a green ship now. And super gel. Crafting materials, of course. Very nice. That's more like it. That's what I'm talking about here. Yes. A couple of uh, these barrels around the ship are explodable and they give scrap metal and plasma. something here oh yeah or boosters crystal diodes that is a whole GMB freighter there coming in look Or is they know a bit more paranoid about me flying at them in pirate colors. <laughs> Just one fighter escort, huh? Hmm. Get him! <laughs> I assume I can attack them. I'll probably get my ass kicked, though. Oh, well, they're off. Okay, bye! All right, there's debris everywhere. Let's go and have a look over here. All right, we got some banditos. Engaged with some freelancers. A 
Hey there, boys. You good? All right, let's search around here. See what we can find. Got a couple of exploding containers. More jetsam. Or blossom. Biomass. Got some material mineral on the rock over there. Found a very suspicious looking rock. Nice. Shield breaker missiles. 100% complete this location. Lovely. The banditos, 3.4 kilometers away. I'm pretty sure there's some crystals down here. I see some glowiness that needs checking out. Oh, yeah. Lots of crystals. It's good that the game tells you um, that, you know, once you've got the main loot, it 100% completes it. Even if you don't have all the minerals and stuff, they're still available. Um, and it's good that um, I came back here, apparently. it's I missed, I missed a lot of stuff. Missed a lot of stuff. But uh, it's okay. No harm done. We came back and got it all, baby. Hell yeah. Alright, let's uh let's dock to this trade station. Hi, I'm looking for a Prime Sense STA. That's the pre-war model. Quite rare, but I do have one in stock. How much is it? Four thousand two hundred. Four thousand? And two hundred, yes. Say, you don't happen to be a contractor, do you? Uh, no, I'm just uh into tech like that. That's all. That's too bad. I could have paid you 2.5k if you'd done a little job for me. All you would need to do is deliver a small package to a dear customer of mine. Really? That's it? Will you do it? Sure, why not? That doesn't sound very committed. I would be grateful if you'd let me take this job. Good. You'll find the package at the abandoned station nearby. I'll give you further instructions once you're there. I don't get the feeling that we're about to get attacked. <laughs> Um, okay, so we got Sir. Oh, yeah, 4,200. Son of a bean. But we do have some stuff to sell, like liquor, um, which is a commodity, which is not a trading material. We're not going to need it. We have clothing. We'll sell that as well. Lots of credits for that. Uh, medicine. All of this stuff is actually selling really well. Um, and that, I think it's it, because everything else here is stuff I can either dismantle or use. Uh, so let's put those there, for example, there's plating, I don't think I could dismantle that, but um, I'm going to just keep it for now, just to make sure, tuned energy core, boosters, boosters I think, yeah, uh, it's a it's a ship component, isn't it, so it's actually better than our current, we also have these web missiles and shredder missile, uh, shield breaker missiles, which are lovely, lovely, 136 energy damage. I do like my homings. They are very nice. Uh, I haven't actually used the corrosions yet, um, but I'm sure it will come. The sensor module that we picked up as well is actually better than the one we've got. We've got a marksman thermo. So this would replace our calibrated zappers, which do a decent amount of both energy and kinetic damage. I do like them, but 55 energy damage. These do 56 energy damage. These do... Ah. Uh, yeah, they got more range, but to be honest, two almost two kilometer range. Hmm, snipey, snipey, but not much in the yeah. I don't, I think I'm going to keep my current setup. To be fair, uh, EMP missiles as well. We got a thermo gun there that we can dismantle, and we got a coil gun there where we can also dismantle. And they neither of those are better than what I've currently got equipped. So. Uh, cool, I think we're good. I'm going to keep everything uh, that's on me right there. Ooh, more, more nanobots. Oh. Do they only stack to four then? They do only stack to four, guys. Okay, good to know, good to know. All right, let's uh, let's skedaddle. Let's get out of here. And let's go and do this guy's little easy-peasy delivery job, yeah? No big deal. Just a simple delivery. Nothing to worry about. Where the hell is it? I find 
Find the sealed container at the abandoned station. Okay, okay, I'm looking at the blue, not the yellow. Gotcha. Here we go, and... Whee! <laughs> Do you like me? Feel the speedy uppy button. It's a good, good speedy uppy button. Oh. oh, these weren't here earlier. Don't let them get away. You want me to just... Oh, ouchies. Jesus. Alright, let's get some... Oh god! Four, but the Viper jumped out. Is the package still there? I don't know, I'm busy surviving, you bastard. Jesus, that was close. I used a lot of my nanobots. They don't seem to do anything right now. I don't know what's going on. My nanobots aren't repairing my hull. Why is that? Huh. My hull is the orange, right? Uh, I don't know. That might be my armor. Hull might be the red. Right. Search the area. All right. I think the package is probably gone, and that viper took it with him. What ship types did the group fly? Apart from that elite viper, there were two madcaps, a scout, and a sniper drone. Just as I thought. I hate those guys. Yeah, hate those guys. But I turned them down. They didn't happen to have left their address by. Hmm. Any yeah. chance? The Viper pilot has his lair in Rodeo orbit. I would be very grateful if you could get my package back. This will cost you. How about a raise up to 3.5k? Sounds fair. I'm yeah. Honest. How about you just give me the freaking sense thingy, bajiggy, right? Let's go then. There's that Viper signal. Got other signals coming in as well. Elite Outlaw Viper, level 5. Alright. There's also a place we've been before. We set up the, uh, the beanbags. You're dead. You're dead. How, how's that? Through what? Did the package contain some Meridian paint by any chance? <laughs> yes, that's it. The recipient is already waiting for you at the outer rim. You know that Viridian products are illegal. I'm sorry, but I'm not paying you so well to ask questions. Point taken. Sus. Well, well, well. I thought I was in for a hell of a fight there, but firing two missiles into his face really took him down a notch, didn't it? <laughs> that was funny. Oh, dear. Right, I can have a little look around here, because this is another area I went, so it's possibly another area that uh, I've missed a bunch of things at. There's, um, is this where all the mines were? Oh, I think it was. Look, the mines everywhere. Damn. There's incoming signals. 1.4 away. They'll be here any second now. They're already shooting at me, in fact. I gotta get inside. Take cover! Ugh! Ow! Yeah. Scrubs. What's with the beeping? Why am I beeping? What's with the... Somebody threw a missile at me. I am outraged. I am disappointed. This looks very familiar. Did I come down here? Yes. Yes, I think I did. <laughs> Difficult to remember where I've been and where I haven't been, to be honest. 
All right, let's head over there. That looks interesting. Oh, level up. Thank you very much. Ding, ding, ding. Dodging me sounds like a boss. I've been detected. I like that. I've been detected. Really? <laughs> but I was being so stealthy. Give me your giblets. There are no giblets in there. This is disappointing. Disappointing lack of giblets. There's some giblets. Oh, yes. Yes, excellent. All right, I'm going to have a look around. Let's see if there's anything else in here that I can steal. I mean, liberate. Liberate from the clutches of bandit scum. Oh, hey, guys. Just dropping in, eh? <laughs> this, this was like bandit country. You know that, right? You're welcome. I cleared it all up for you. No biggie. Yeah, floated. Oh, yeah. Woo. The juice is real in this one. I think how much juice there is. So much juice. I'm going to run out of inventory space for this, right? It's a very real and present danger, that is. Right. What else we got here? Shield generator. Shield generator. Why would you put your shield generators on the outside of your shield? That'd be just silly, that'd be. I hope there was nobody on foot in here, because now they've just been blown out into space. Sure it's fine. Ooh, hello. Nice. Lovely. Oh, energy sphere socket here. Right, so we need an energy sphere. And then we can get the container that's in there. Alrighty. See if we can find an energy sphere distribution thingy majiggy. That is the technical term for it, guys. I don't want to get all technical on you and mumbo jumbo y, but uh, there we go. I think what we're going to have to do is fly to a different area to find an energy sphere distributor. Um, so we have several choices. We've got that bit over there. That bit over there. That bit up there. Or the bit in the middle. we kind of been there. I didn't see an energy thing. We've been there and there wasn't an energy thing there either. So I feel like checking out the one by the bandits. Because then we get to shoot stuff. <laughs> Hi! Oh, do you get zappy zap? Zappy zap and then killed. Yeah. It's okay, it's not your fault that you suck! <laughs> Shit, I'm lost. What the hell was the thing that was coming here to do? There it is. Everything's fine. Morning.
Giblets, please. You have not paid your giblet tax. You are required by law to give up your giblets. Or I will take them by force. This place sucks. This place is the worst. Here's a question for you, chat. Is there a way to mark things? Say that you've been to them. Because one of the problems in this particular sector is I can't keep track of where I've been. <laughs> to some extent, at least. Anyway, right. I think big wreckage there. There, there, there. So much to explore here, it's crazy. Ooh, that looks like an energy sphere dispenser. Actually, this is the one. Yes. This is the one I went through last time. Gibbs, 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 Gibbs. Okay, now we need to go over there. That's true. All right. Can I two, please? Yeah. Bingo. Mainframe, Mainframe component. Of these, I can get Yay. You've got two already in my inventory, so that's number three. We did it, guys. We mainframed. All right, well, I haven't had the 100% complete notification come up for this place, um, but I'm, I'm reasonably confident I've been to every major sort of wreckage field in this sector now uh so if there's something i've missed i really don't know where it is without going over over my steps again and potentially again um i don't know what else to do i think we're done here basically you know what i'm saying uh it's really difficult to to keep a track or uh, any kind of idea on what you've seen and what you've been to there's a bit of iron that is lodged inside the asteroid there I can't actually get. So, uh, taking a view of this place from above, I can say that I've been to all three of those points. The main points in the middle, of course. And that big tangle bit of wreckage in the middle. Everything in the middle, basically. And that's, uh, yeah. So I don't know where the last bits are basically um in any case i think we're done here so i'm gonna head back to the trade station now that we've got his um illegal part that he wanted and see if we can get that component that whatever it was sense sta thingy majiggy we needed a lot of money to buy Here we go. This paint job will finally make us stand out. We'll <laughs> see that we're not like everyone else. Am I the only one who prefers to not stand out around here? Time to head back to the trader. Okay, enjoy your paint, guys. This is seriously all about paint. <laughs> what? <laughs> um. Oh, I thought the trader was here. Trader's not here, is it? Is this another area that I sh I've been to? And I thought that was the trader, the Flying Duchess. Uh, do you know what? This is another area I've been to before and thought I'd fully explored and stuff like that, but I don't think I had. There's the minefields on the asteroid. I definitely explored that, but not very really thoroughly. And you got the minefields around that wreckage over there. You got little bits of wreckage everywhere. There's an, uh, that's the Duchess, and you've got this whole asteroid field here as well. Oh my god! <laughs> I think I'm finally realising the scope and scale of this game. And it is somewhat scurry, gotta admit. I'm a little bit scurred, guys. But anyway, I think I'm gonna go through this area real quick. 
And uh, if we find anything good, I'll let you know. But my inventory is filling up, so hmm, we'll, we'll do our best. I think basically you get little check marks on the areas that you've completed. So, for example, the station shipwreck we've completed. The station debris here has got a little check on it. Um, so Union Bridge, where we go? Seto Outer Rim is where we're at. Planetary debris. And then we got these undiscovered sites and stuff like that that we need to to deal with. This is just one freaking solar system, guys. <laughs> got all these still to go through. I've got outdated equipment. Yay! Thanks, game. <laughs> Dear player, you suck. Thanks. <laughs> Something like a reassuring pep talk from the game to keep you going, eh? <laughs> Brilliant. Bingo! Location complete. Seat to outer rim. No, so I'm pretty satisfied with that. Nice one. Okay. Plus, it's a scrap metal over there, though. It's not everything, is it? Okay, so I'm going to head over now to the trade location now that I've completed this area as well. Um, I didn't get anything particularly useful from here. It was all mostly grey stuff, but uh, did get a mainframe component again. Uh, so I did unlock that, but I'll go through that in a minute, the main drink components, because that's actually a fairly decent upgrade. Okay, uh, I'll see you guys over at the, the other trader for the mission. I delivered the paint. Very good. Say, about those customers of yours. They were two madcaps, a scout, a sniper drone, and an elite viper pilot. Yeah, they're quite the raggle-taggle group. It's really hard not to like them, isn't it? They're exactly the same as the guys you just made me fight. <laughs> ah, there's a big difference. Return to my shop and you'll understand. Okay. Excellent job. Here are your credits. Oh, thank you very much. Oh, and one more thing. Thank you. Aww. Uh, you're welcome. When the two Viper pilots came by to order the paint, the first one just barged in, slammed his money on the counter, and made his proposition. While the other one began by asking if it was okay for him to dock here. When I said yes, he thanked me. Can you believe that? That's, uh, amazing. Life out here is cruel and violent. Barely anyone treats their neighbor as their equal. So just hearing a friendly thank you every once in a while means something to me. Sometimes it's the small things that really make us stand out. Uh, yeah, right. Well, thanks for the creds, I guess. You're very much welcome, my friend. Now I have them all back, I guess, because uh, <laughs> I need that freaking thing. <laughs> Prime sends SDA. Pre-war system scanner coming right up. Thank you very much. Do you know about any medical stations nearby? Hmm. The closest is probably the one at Prescott Starbase in Union. And here in Cedo? You're kidding, right? Out here, no one ever cared about infrastructure like that. Not even during the war. I understand. Thanks anyway. No problem. Right. Okay, so I've got some dismantling to do. And this stuff goes into our crafting inventory, which is actually different. So we don't have to worry about it. Um, it really taking up much space here at all. Got some mines. Yeah, I mean, great. If I ever need to hold like an area or something. This auto cannon is actually better than my current auto cannon, except this does 10% of energy bypass to the armor. This is, doesn't have that. Um, and for plus seven and plus two. Yeah, I'm going to dismantle it just because I'm a bit of a snob when it comes to loot quality. <laughs> uh, this does more range. I don't know what it's comparing. It's comparing it to the zapper. So it's a longer range, but it does less energy damage. So and again, it's it's rubbish. So <laughs> the game keeps telling me you've got out of date gear. You got level one gear. What are you doing? I don't, well, you know, give me something better. And I know that this, you know, coil gun is apparently better. It's just not though, is it? I know there's lots of like green ticky things on here, but uh, <laughs> the 56 energy damage on that is my only anti-shield thing. The, the, the auto cannon doesn't do very good against shields. So you can use it against shields, but it doesn't do very good against shields. So yeah, so we've got mainframe component that. I think means that we have one uh, point over here that we can increase 
one of our ship stats over here. So we've got like firepower, which is obviously damage. Precision is crit. Structure is health. Expertise is shield and resistance hull. Integrity, utility, device uh, stats and stuff like that. So my firepower is already at 93, so I don't see any reason to upgrade that just yet. And I am a big fan of having very tanky shields, so I'm going to put the point in there. I also have an upgrade for my devices as well. And the one I use the most is the boost. So I'm going to upgrade that again to level three now and until i get a gun that is actually better than the ones i've got these guys are getting dismantled and there we go we've unlocked the blueprint for the coil gun rockets i'm not sure what to do with these these are high capacity rapid projectile launchers with no guidance strong against large slow targets um, they can replace my current launchers which could be fun <laughs> they do a lot less damage in every sense but with 220 of them, bombing runs are going to be fun. So I think just for the sheer enjoyment of it, we're going to equip ourselves with some pod rocket launchers. And I'm going to keep my erosion missiles equipped because I haven't used those yet as well. And I want to give those a go. The booster here is the exact same one as that. So I'm going to dismantle that. And that's going to work towards our... Oh, we just got a power coupling, guys. Ooh, that changes things. That means I can actually modify and increase the level of... Oh, no, I need three of them. Never mind. Back out. Ignore me. <laughs> I need three bloody power couplings. All right, ladies and gentlemen, that's pretty much we have all the time we have today. Any news? And I got a cutscene. So bought the SCA. And guess what? There are no medical stations out here. I told you we would come across something with enough time. I don't have time. Why am I getting the feeling you're just using me to beef up your crappy station on the cheap? Listen, I didn't have to take you in or stick your friend in my freezer. I'm trying to help you, but we gotta do it my way. With patience and under the radar. This is taking far too long. For people like us, it is what it is. There are no shortcuts in the DMZ. Freighter -y thing. Yeah, I'm here. A delivery convoy for GNB just jumped in. All automated, barely guarded, and completely packed. I'll be damned if they're not hauling a medical pod. Oh, we are so taken on GNB. <laughs> Hell yeah. This is sticking your fingers in the faces of the very people we want to avoid. I'm sorry, Dax. My friend is in trouble, and this is my chance to help him. The convoy's AI driven. There are just a few guards. I might even manage to steal the meds without any trouble at all. I don't like it. If this operation goes south, it's on you. In your head alone. Got it? Yeah, I get it. It's been like that all my life. Been like that all my life. Right, ladies and gentlemen, as I was trying to say, thank you very much for watching. We've run out of time for today's episode, but I do hope you are enjoying Everspace 2. And uh, I hope I've satisfied both your inner loot goblin as well as mine. But as always, thank you very much for watching. It is greatly appreciated. Hopefully, I'll see you for the next one. Until then, take care. Bye bye.